Joining us now on CBS Sports HQ, David Ajabo from Michigan. You guys had one heck of a year getting to the college football playoff. What was that like for Big Blue and you? Man, it was unbelievable. Uh, I mean, it's an opportunity of a lifetime to even play for Michigan, but to get to the playoffs, man, it's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Here's what's so great about you, and I was just asking you about this. You're Nigerian. You lived for a while in Scotland. And, of course, you came up for the States when you were a teenager. And when you talk to scouts, this is what they say. This guy is just scratching the surface, and he is so good already. And it gets folks excited. I get excited watching you play. Just the quickness and the things that you've been able to do over a short period of time. What are the things, some of the things you need to work on that are just more than being athletic, athletically better than everyone out there or stronger than everyone out there? What do you want to see happen over the next few years as you make your way to the NFL? Mm, definitely just a technique refinement, uh, just the IQ of the game, just learn the little, little things that uh, I know could take my game, you know, sky high, you know, because, you know, it's only been five years of being around the sport total, right. you know, so I, I know that. You know, when I get to the more, just more experience, like catch up to the other guys, 10 years, you know, man, it's <laughs> big plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The part I never understand when folks say, well, he played on the other side of Aiden Hutchinson. That's why he has success. Well, yes, that's the point. Like you want to have success when somebody is getting attention because that shows your skill, your talent mm. and your upside. You were able to take advantage of those one on one mm. opportunities. Do you feel like offensive tackles were taking you lightly and in, in that regard and saying like, hey, OK, I don't have that guy but I got this guy you've been able to whip him I mean end of the day it's a one-on-one at the end of the day and I beat it you know so if it took me lightly that's their problem you know so and they weren't prepared so I just wanted to do my job did it to the best of my ability and uh, look where it landed me yeah they say disruption is production and after the game you know players love to go to players like hey man you were great what was some of the feedback you got from those guys after you went up against them? I mean, honestly, I got a mid-game, too. Like, uh, they were just letting me know. Because, honestly, a lot of them didn't know about me. I didn't play, you know, before this season. So, uh, like, mid-game as they're figuring out, uh, they're like, oh. <laughs> and I, I gave them the look back. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, nah, it, was, it was good. It was a good experience. Don't let the accent fool you. <laughs> no, don't let it fool you, man. Let me talk about that, though, because this is the thing. And, you know, Emory and I have talked about this and Tommy as well. Your parent, you're an immigrant. Your, your parents came over, and especially Africans when they come over, education is no joke. Taking mm. things seriously is no joke. You can't be out. Tell, talk about the the, the family influence on you and, and what they thought about your football journey because that's a unique journey for for an immigrant coming over. Yeah, I mean, like you said, I, us Africans don't play about the education, man. So even for me to come over, my parents, the first priority was make sure your grades are straight before we can let you go over because I was 15. Mm -hmm. So to go to a boarding school, let alone America, you know, they need to make sure my head was on straight. And, you know, it was. And I carried through college. You know, I ended up being an academic All-American. It's a huge deal. You know, huge deal. And I take as much pride in the academics as I do in football. Because at the end of the day, like, my parents, I have to honor them. They're the ones who invested in me. And that, that's all they ask for me because they don't even know the sport. Right. They don't. They don't really care about the sport. They, and that's they, the other thing. They yeah. don't. They're like education. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. What so, else are you doing? Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so as long as my education is straight, I know I'm honoring my parents, and that's the biggest thing. That's a fantastic story. Tommy's a huge soccer guy. I'm a big soccer guy. They got the teams growing up in Scotland, EPL teams that you follow. Yeah, that I was a big Manchester United fan as a as a young kid. When in the Ronaldo age, Rooney age, mm -hmm. that was my. And then I transitioned over to basketball. But, yeah, like, I was big on them. I actually went to see one game as a kid. My dad took me. I got to see him. I was up in the bleachers. <laughs> like, yeah. In the nosebleeds. But, no, it was, it was a great experience. And Mr. Alex, man, they need Ferguson back. Of oh, course, he's man. not coming out of retirement, but man, tough he need, times. He, he needs to come back, man. Yeah, yeah. When you watch uh, guys in the NFL and you talk to others uh, maybe on campus in Ann Arbor to get ready for, for the league. What excites you most about the increase in level of competition and playing what really is the highest level? I mean, it's just opportunity, you know, to get better. You know, uh, from high school, you know, I made it. I'm, I was a few to make it to D1. Now it's okay. Now I'm with the best of the best. Even my freshman year, I played against a full NFL line. You know, John Runyon, Onwenu, Caesar, you know, across the line. Bredesen. So, you know, for freshman year. So now it's just the next jump. Now it's like I'm playing with the, the elite of the elite. So it's just a new opportunity to learn, get better. And, I mean, you see what one year did to my game, you know, of playing. 
like I said, what what's going to happen when I stack, you know, year after year after year? When you, you know, know what you're doing. When I know, <laughs> what, you know, when I know what's going on, you know, it's going to get scary, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, wh- where's the crossover? We talk about crossover in sports to other things, mm. but where's the crossover from the classroom to the football field? What have you done in the classroom? You excel there. Mm. How has that helped you on a football field? Yeah, I mean, I'm smart. So, like, <laughs> yeah, the, my intake of information, you know. So whenever I'm explaining, like, the why, like, why is this happening? Or it's like, okay, not I could piece that together. And, of course, combine that with my athletic ability, you know, it's over with. So, yeah, I'm a smart guy, so I just apply that to, to football and, you know, it's helping me out. Did you have to learn patience as a player? Yeah, I mean, I'm a patient guy. Like, <laughs> again, think about it. I came over to America for two other sports. It didn't work out. So, I mean, if I wasn't patient, I would have packed up and gone back to Scotland. So I, I just trusted the process. You know, I kept telling my high school coach, man, like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. He said, nah, just stay down. This sport don't, I mean, people play for 10, 15 years and don't even make it D1. He said, you're already in a blessed position. Just stay down. You know, your time will come. And I, I waited three years to even get snaps. And, and you then, took, took advantage of it. And that's, I got that's snaps. The difference. Yeah, and then... We talk about Aiden Hutchinson all the time when we talk about Michigan and that defense, and obviously you made a huge impact this year. But talk to me about Dax Hill and what he does in the back and how versatile he is because he is a fun player to watch because he's fast, he's physical, he comes downhill, but he can also cover. How important was he for what you guys were doing in the secondary while you and Aiden were getting after it up front? Man, I mean, he was running it back there, man. He's a missile. Uh, we even brought him on blitzes. He, you seen the Wisconsin game. He took the quarterback out. So, uh, man, he's, he's an all-around player, man. Uh, he could cover, run support smart guy he has very good instincts that you just can't teach some people and yeah he, he, he's, he's fast like, he's, he's fast right yeah very fast all right well we appreciate you man we loved having you on set good talking to you enjoy the week and uh, we'll see you at the draft and then on sunday thank you thank all you right. Appreciate- do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game the highlights the picks the instant analysis no yelling no fake debates no politics hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment